Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekran and welcome to this database lessons. And we are continuing with our SGA sessions. Okay. So in this video, we will talk about how uh, you know the access the in when access uh, when I say access actually um, how it's organized the access to the SGA database buffer cache is organized. Okay. So uh, you know there is a prerequisite for this video. Uh, this is part of a, a sub series for uh, systems I mean system global area video so you may want to start uh, in case if anyone uh, sees this video uh, for the first time you may want to start from uh, you know uh, SGA series part one okay so this is database buffer cache okay so now let's see how uh, things are organized uh, the access to uh, DB buffer is organized. Okay, so for example, when a data gets read from disk, it goes to uh, a block in DB buffer. Okay, so let's just say the data goes here. Okay, what happens is Oracle maintains a list called LRU which is least least recently used list okay so this list is very important for oracle to identify what blocks that can be used for reading and writing operations okay so let's just say like now right now you know we just started the database and most of the db buffer cache is free so it writes on a a, a block in the db buffer and then in LRU somewhere in the middle it's marked that buffer let's say there is a uh, number for this buffer let me call this as uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so the buffer 9 gets marked here okay so this LRU has two ends right there is a end here there is a end here okay and let me call one end as cold the other end as hot I'll explain why I am calling this as cold and hot okay so now another process comes or maybe the same process it access some other data file or object and then that gets stored here so let me call this 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. okay 17 okay I mean it doesn't have to be in order I'm just giving some uh, label to the block 17 okay so somewhere in the middle 17 it notes 17 the block 17 was used okay so like that you know I'm gonna call some random numbers 21 45 okay they are used okay so it just puts somewhere in the middle 21 45 okay so now after a while this block gets used by a process again okay whatever data which is in there was needed by another process or maybe the same process okay so this was read again okay so this 9 
gets moved somewhere to the hot side the the hot end okay probably you know the number 9 gets moved here okay meaning that this has just become hot again meaning that this was used more frequently than the rest here okay that's the meaning so and then uh, you know several processes come and they keep on using like 9 again 17 they, they, they use 17 and 9 so frequently so frequently so that these two become the top two frequently accessed buffer uh, block in the buffer okay what happens is Oracle has its own algorithm it has a uh, uh, some of the factors it uses uh, are uh, it it's called touch I'll explain that later okay and there is also one more I don't remember what it is but uh, uh, it basically keeps track of how many times uh, a, a block in the buffer is touched and uh, it doesn't have to be exactly how many times uh, it has its own algorithm so but the point is 9 and 17 they were like you no know, reused frequently with whatever data in there so what happens 9 17 they go to the hot end of the LRU okay and let's just say you know 8 2 these were also used so they start somewhere in the middle 8 and 2 okay after that they were never used right they just reside there and in a particular period of time they were not at all used so what happens they go to this cold end 8 2 right they were not used okay so like that let me just put another number here like now 12 okay so like that uh, so here uh, let's say uh, 81 okay 81 gets just red so 81 gets marked here okay and uh, this is 82 so 82 gets marked here okay um, and then uh, let's say 21 gets 21 gets red again and again so this becomes 21 so now if you notice there is a list which tells Oracle that how frequently the blocks are used I mean the blocks from the database buffer have been used in a particular period of time okay so Oracle knows that these blocks you know right now I'm sorry when I said particular period of time like now it's real time okay so Oracle knows that at, uh, at any point of time you know when it looks at the LRU it knows that these were the blocks that were frequently used and these were the blocks that were not used okay why Oracle has to maintain this because at some point of time as more readings and writings happen Oracle has to age out or push the contents of the blocks to hard drive or just simply age them out so that new data can be stored and you don't want to store your new data in this block because this block is frequently accessed right now if you age this out what happens remember those processes that frequently access here they would go here and then this will be read right to somewhere and we don't have a right LRU mechanism so it gets aged out again the processes read read from here so more physical IO that's not good right so it keeps a list of 
frequently used blocks here and it keeps a list of uh, blocks that were cold in the, in the sense like now used only once or a couple of times okay so then it's easy for Oracle to age out these blocks right when new blocks need to be stored here right a layer you list will tell Oracle uh, you know what let's you know let's find out if the status of the data in 8 2 and uh, uh, you know, uh, I will come to the status of the data, the the, the block in the DB buffer later because we we got so much to talk about. Uh, but if this data is not needed anymore, right? They can be simply aged out, and data can be stored, and the new data can be stored here and there. Oops, what happened? Oh, sorry. So the new data can be stored from here and there. And again, 8 and 2 start from the middle. Got it? So it will not touch these heavily frequently used blocks. But after a while, let's say if this 8 and 2 become very popular, because you know processes come and go, applications come and go. So uh, the applications that were using 17 and 9 they completed their work and then if 8 and 2 become very hard then they move to this side right and 17 9 will come here right so that's how Oracle uh, maintains our, our uh, some kind of efficiency uh, while aging out and uh, you know keeping the data for frequently accessed uh, for uh, for uh, frequently accessed uh, uh, applications used applications okay so that's LRU again if you have any questions please feel free to put your comments this one took me a while uh, to understand okay uh, I'm not saying I'm the mm, the brightest of the mind uh, which I'm not but uh, so I I just want to make sure I am really doing a good job in explaining this to you so that this would be useful to you okay thank you for watching